Hey world changers, in this Motivational Monday episode, we're going to talk about you and your gifts and talents. Don't forget to tap that like button and hit subscribe so that way you're the first to know when I drop a new video. I sure hope that you were able to rest and recharge this weekend and now it's Monday. I know, I know, I know. Mondays, they always get a bad rap. In fact, for years, I absolutely dreaded Mondays. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm feeling sad and stressed out because that's the message I keep sending to my brain. Why don't I go ahead and send a new message to my brain that Mondays are amazing and filled with opportunity. And that's exactly what I did. And I tell you what, it has changed my life forever. Listen, I want you all to own this idea from a young age. What idea? Well, the idea that Mondays are amazing. So let's start today off by busting out our best power pose. Get it ready and repeat after me. This is how I Monday. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into this episode, but let's begin with the end in mind. At the end of every Motivational Monday episode, I always end it with something like, remember that you are special. You were born with a special set of unique gifts and talents, and it's your responsibility to figure out what that is and go off into the world and make this world a better place. Now, I know some of you, you know what your gifts and your talents are. Whenever I say that, you're like, yeah, Miss McCarthy, that's right. I am really good at blank, or I'm super awesome at blank. But I know so many of you are probably thinking, uh, Miss McCarthy, I have no idea what my gifts and talents are. I don't even think I have any. Well, guess what? I can totally relate to you because for all of my childhood and most of my adulthood, I had no idea what my gifts and talents were either. But you might be thinking, Miss McCarthy, you're really good at math. That's what your gift is. Well, let me go ahead and break the news to you that I was not the smartest student in class. Math did not come easy to me growing up. I really, really had to work at it and study and go home and practice every single night until it clicked for me. Even now when I go and I visit students at schools, they'll be like, hey, Miss McCarthy, what's 28 times 654, huh, huh, huh? And I'm like, I don't know. I need a piece of paper and a pencil and I need to work it out and break it down and have it make sense for me. Also, growing up, I loved singing and dancing, but I wasn't the greatest at it. It wasn't even something that I did in public. <laughs> I would just have fun with it though, just singing and dancing and writing songs behind closed doors because it brought me joy. For so much of my life as a student though, I spent so much time breaking things down so that they made sense for me. A lot of times I would create these fun little songs and rap so it would help me remember something for a test. <laughs> and then once it clicked for me, if I saw somebody else struggling, like somebody in my class or a sibling at home, I wanted to jump in and help them too and maybe even teach them the little song that I created to help them. So as you can see, it was natural for me to help people, my siblings and my classmates. So it makes sense that I became a teacher, right? And the cool thing is I was born with just enough talent to be able to sing and dance and incorporate that when I'm teaching to make learning fun. It's how I'm doing my part to change the world today. So now let's turn it over to you and talk about you because you are amazing. You are so unique and truly there is nobody like you. For real, you have something inside of you that's so special. You absolutely have gifts and talents, but the thing is you might be struggling with the words gifts and talents because when we think of somebody who's gifted, we think of somebody who's usually pretty smart, right? Really smart. And when we think about talents, we think about somebody who might be really talented on a stage or talented like an athlete on a field. But when I say gifts and talents, what if instead we choose to think about that like strengths? Think about something that you just do naturally, something that you might love to do. In fact, when you do it, it makes you feel stronger and just filled with joy and happiness. If you're struggling to think about something, it's probably because you're thinking too hard about it. Let me help you by breaking down some examples of strengths. Making friends easily, writing in a way where the words just flow out of you, coming up with fun games to play, drawing or painting or taking pictures or making movies, working through problems and finding possible solutions, following directions and completing tasks on time, building things with Legos or blocks or whatever, sticking with something until it's complete, fixing electronics or cooking or being a good leader for younger kids, choosing to be positive and kind, giving the best hugs and high fives, having a really nice handwriting, jumping in to help someone. All of these are strengths 
and you might have a different strength. You know it's a strength when it just flows through you. It brings you joy. It makes you feel stronger and it makes you feel really happy. So here's your challenge for this week and frankly, for the rest of your lives. And it's pretty simple, okay? Number one, keep asking yourself, what are my strengths? What are my gifts? What are my talents? And don't be afraid of those words. They are inside of you. And number two, use those strengths every day. One of my favorite quotes of all time is from Mark Twain and it goes like this. The two most important days of your life are the day you were born and the day that you find out why. I am so glad that you were born. You're here and there's nobody like you. And then when you fully realize why you were here, what your strengths are, what your gifts are, what your talents are, you can step into each day and go out there and help people. You can use your gifts, your strengths, your talents to make this world a better place and change the world. And if you're thinking, Miss McCarthy, Miss McCarthy, I know what my gift is, share it with me. Go ahead and have your adult email me at McCarthyMathAcademy at gmail.com or they can find me on Instagram or Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy. By the way, I'm a math teacher for grades three, four, and five. So if you know that you need some help in those grade levels with math, then I encourage you to check out my website. It's McCarthyMathAcademy.com. I'm on a mission, y'all, to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for you. So I will see you there. All right, everybody, let's wrap this up the way that we started. And I want to encourage you to remember that you were born for a special purpose. And it's your job to figure out what that is and use it every day to make this world a better place. And yes, I mean you. See you next time, world changer.